So usually I start these interviews by asking, who are you? But I already know who you are. This is Miles, uh, Miles, but I can ask you, what do you do? Right, I do a number of things. My day job is training the next generation of outstanding teachers at the University of Roehampton, which is great fun. But I've been involved with a large number of projects around the development and implementation of what I still call the new computing curriculum, which yeah. has kept me busy. Yeah. You're also involved in, in CAS as well, I Yeah, I serve on CAS's management board as well as the NACE board of management and I'm part of the UK Forum for Computing Education. And one or two other little things like that. Fantastic, okay. And so we're here at PyCon UK's uh, Teacher's Day, and, and what's the most fun thing that you've, uh, you've oh seen today? Gosh. <laughs> right, well, it's all been great fun. I mean, the people, really, of yeah. course. Um, I think the, the thing, I don't know about fun, yeah. but inspiring was the after-lunch keynote over in the main room, yeah. rather than here, about power, yeah. and power in open source communities, and yeah. how generally open source communities get, get run by decent, generous, kind people, Fantastic. and on a good day, the same is true of education. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's the thing about PyCon UK. We try and bring lots of diverse groups of people together so that they can connect with each other and, and inspire each other and, and make the network that they need so that they can do these things. So um, the last question I'm going to ask you, I'm going to put you on the spot here. You did say before the interview started, no difficult questions, I hope. But um, given that you've seen these things in the Python community, in the wider open source community here, um, how do you think the good practice that you see happening in our community could be brought into the education community and how could the wonderful stuff that's happening in the education community be made more aware of in the open source community? Well, the adopter developer or adopter teacher model, I think, is a really nice one. You know, yes, you can do things yeah. top down. You know, yeah. you can have better links between these communities and our yeah. communities. But really, it is a, a grassroots, ground up, let's connect the people together sort of thing. And we're starting to see that happening with the sort of adopter teacher notion that we've spoken about yeah. already today. But also with you know, co club volunteers yeah. going into school, seeing yeah. what happens in the school, and, and Bone their sleeves up and teaching a little bit of coding to young children yeah. and at all other s scales of the system. Young Rewired State, fabulous example of that yeah. sort of thing happening. Absolutely good. Similarly, there are so many interesting projects where we're starting to see that interchange of ideas. And of course, the developers have something of an advantage in that all of them have been <laughs> at school, or yeah. at least almost all of yeah. them yeah. have been at school. Some indeed still are at yeah. school. For teachers, it's another yeah. matter because relatively with you of us have any sort of insight into yeah. how software gets written. But, you know, notion, the sort of models which we see in open source around distributed projects, around you know, putting what you can into something, even yeah. if it's not necessarily you know, contributing to the code, you know, spotting yeah. the bugs, suggesting the features, helping yeah. with the documentation. There are strong parallels to that and what could happen in our world. And I think making the most of those connections and seeing it with things like Wikibooks yeah. um, and open education source, so yeah. although they're not always open in the sense of contributing to and accessing yeah. a quite different things. Yes, exactly. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Good I appreciate it.